Here's Horvat. Down low and another goal by Pedersen. Okay, this is just weird. This past week, we would witness a massive blockbuster deal as the Canucks would ship out Bo Horvat to the Islanders, finally putting an end to all the drama. In return for Anthony Beauvillier, 2021 second round pick Atu Ratu, and a top 12 protected 2023 first round pick. But we know why we're here. Bo Horvat just signed an eight year deal that carries an 8.5 million AAV. And this contract, would make the hockey world, more specifically the Twitter world, erupt as fans can't wrap their head around this contract. Lou Lamorello is the one who signed it, and he himself can't wrap his head around this contract. All I can tell you is it's too long and it's too much money. <laughs> With that being said, I think Twitter is being a bit dramatic. Shocking, right? Twitter being dramatic? No way. But if Lamorello who signed that contract is saying that, it must be true. Right? Yes and no. Because let's keep in mind, Lou Lamorello is not someone who likes signing market to value contracts. In fact, I would go as far as saying Lou Lamorello wakes up from night terrors, sweating, about the thought of signing market value contracts. Hell, Lou didn't want to sign Matt Barzell, who is their franchise player to a market value deal. With that being said, I have a hunch. I believe that the Islanders management are making a bet that the salary cap significantly rises in the next several seasons. Because here's the thing, I've been constantly seeing the sentiment that Bo Horvat is just a 50 point guy. See that guy? 50 point guy. This statement is dramatically devaluing what Bo Horvat provides. Now don't get me wrong, Horvat is clearly having a career year. With that being said, what Bo Horvat is doing this season, to me at least, is not the least bit surprising. He is currently 27. 27 is when many, if not most players, hit their prime. And scoring goals isn't anything new for Horvat. Because without pandemic complications, Bo Horvat was on a 30 goal pace four out of the last five seasons. He's not just the player who's having a career year, as he has proven to be a reliable 1B center who can score 30 plus goals on top of being an elite face-off taker. He has also proven to be a big game performer, as his playoff performance in the bubble single-handedly led the Canucks to beating the defending Stanley Cup champions in the bubble. Tanev, and away goes Horvat again, what a move by Horvat, scores! Bo Horvat did that! And my guess is that Rope Hints was his contract comparable. Is their contracts were nearly identical, and they both have a similar game with 30 40 goal upside? With that being said, Bo Horvat will be 36 by the time this contract ends. Will he regress in that time? Absolutely. But this is why I mentioned that the Islanders took a bet that the salary cap will go up. Because if the league does continue to grow, if hockey as a sport continues to grow, we are looking at the sour cap significantly rising in the next five years. And if it does, again, we're talking hypotheticals. Horvat's $8.5 million contract looks more like $6 million in today's money in the final years of his deal. And at that point, you can worry about it then. By amount, trade him back to Vancouver, the Islanders will have several options. The New York Islanders have been horrible, and I mean horrible, at putting the puck in the back of the net. In fact, they're coming off a stretch where they went 3 and 53 on the power play. There is no chance you can win games if you can't score. Horvat has been putting pucks the back of the net. The Islanders gave up a big return, but they did not have to sell their soul in this deal as they would shed the cap of Anthony Beauvillier. The 2023 first round pick could end up biting them in the ass as this draft is said to be stacked. Atu Ratu. Now this one fascinates me as a Canucks fan because back in 2021, Ratu leading into his draft year was considered a top three pick. However, because of the pandemic and poor play, he would slide all the way to pick number 52, where he would follow up his poor draft year with a nearly point per game performance in the Liga, as Ratu has the upside to being a 25 goal scorer middle six forward. With that being said, whether we're talking about the draft pick or Atu Ratu, one of the best case Ontario's is that they develop into a 30 goal scorer. It's a gamble. Bo Horvat for the Islanders is a 30 goal scorer. It is clear that the Islanders had to make a decision. Tear it down and rebuild or retool this team back into contention. They clearly chose the latter. Because we should also note, the New York Islanders have 8 guys under contract 
signed long term who are 28 or older. So if you're looking at this trade in our contract as being bad, it's more the context of the Islanders' current situation. But what do you think? Who won this trade? Will this contract be a big mistake? Comment down below. Also, I predicted this exact return in the Horvat trade rumor video I made. So hell yeah. Hell yeah, Rob. Hell yeah.